Warning! The footage you are about to watch is of a sensitive nature, and although it may not be suitable for all viewers, it is for the glory of God. A shocking condition brought this man to the synagogue church of all nations, his body riddled with sickness. Right from the crown of his head, his entire body has been engulfed in a plague, shattering his skin into scale-like fragments. There is not a hair left on his head, as the frightening sickness has completely destroyed the skin. From his head, the disease rages across his body, damaging every inch and rendering his arms useless. The skin flakes and peels horribly all the way down his arms to his fingers. Not one inch of his skin has been left unaffected. This is a body that cannot lie down, bend or work. A once strong and healthy man, now not even a shadow of his former self. As this debilitating disease has made even menial tasks an unimaginable thought. Right down his legs to his feet, the storm of destruction continued with no intermission. Much of the skin has been scratched and eroded away here, exposing the sensitive flesh. Some of the broken pieces of his skin can still be seen barely hanging on his hurting body. His legs are in places as rough as tree bark and as uncomfortable and just as disfigured. Even the small movements he makes to turn must be causing him terrible discomfort. Demonstrating his fragile state, he touches a piece of his splintered skin which comes off in his hand. And you can clearly see that more is ready to fall. Let's listen to him. My, my, my name is Jude Oraka. I come from Anambra State. My age is 39 years. Can you please tell us the problem that brought you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations today? It's about my skin disease. Six years now. I cannot sleep. My body scratched me. I cannot walk fine. I feel cold. Oh, general body pain. Uh, my body, my body used to pee and be falling out. I, I go around to the hospital, but uh, the doctors have no solution. I go, I go to native uh, medicine. I take native medicine, but there is no solution. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a driver. Since then, I cannot drive. I stay at home. So, how did you hear about the Synagogue Church of All Nations? I watch it in the Emmanuel TV. Uh, I believe that God will heal me. I will pray with you that God Almighty will set you free from this problem of terrible skin disease in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Mesdames et Messieurs, regardez votre écran. Voyons cet homme qui est venu ici avec un problème de maladie de la peau. Watch your screen. That will help your faith. Look at the case here. It's a mysterious issue. I never knew how he came here. Because I don't know the kind of vehicle that will convey this man here. So let, let him get free and go. Please help my brother. He has seen this for past six years. We have taken him all over, no solution. Both in the church, in the herbalist, in the medical report, no, no solution. Man of God, please help my brother, please. He has skin disease. For how many years? For six years, sir. Okay, let's hear from your brother. What is your problem? Can you talk? Uh, this, this kid. Okay, so it seems he cannot talk. As you see, his appearance, so the, it is inside. Within and outside, it's like this. Okay? And uh, you'll be able to say a word with me. You are ready to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Thank you. Come on. Command that disease, that infirmity in your body, in the name of Jesus Christ. I say, I command that infirmity out. 
begin to fight each other. Mesdames et Messieurs, regardez votre écran. Dans la puissance de résurrection du Seigneur Jésus-Christ à l'œuvre pour guérir cet homme qui souffre d'une maladie chronique de la peau, à travers la puissance de résurrection du Seigneur, il reçoit ici et maintenant la prière de l'homme de Dieu pour être totalement libéré de cette affliction qui le perturbe depuis six ans. Par la puissance du Seigneur, rien n'est impossible. Regardez votre écran et que ceci élève votre foi au nom de Jésus. Le Seigneur ne regarde pas votre passé. You disease, you can hear me come out of this man's life in the name of Jesus. Go out! Go out! Continue you can dire. say what the name of Jesus can do. You say, Go out! I say, Out! Out! I say, out in the name of Jesus Christ. It must come out. Because the name Jesus is given to cast out demons and to spit the disease. With the name, we have dominion over all disease. All afflictions, infirmity, trouble and the challenges in your life. It's poison. It drunk poison. Can you see what I ask you to be patient for? The issue like this cannot be handled in the same way I handle your case. Look here! In the name of Jesus, stand up. Instantly, the man rises to his feet. It's free.
Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Alléluia, nous venons de voir cette merveilleuse vidéo de cet homme qui est venu avec un problème de peau. Nous avons vu après sa délivrance et sa guérison comment sa peau a été régénérée. So right now, the man is alive and is here in our midst. Please, you are welcome. Alléluia, nous voyons cet homme s'avancer dans la foule, complètement guéri, sa peau complètement restaurée. Praise the Lord. If Jesus Christ could bring Lazarus up from the tomb, the power and effectiveness are still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Our brother is a living testimony. Let us put our hands together beautifully for the King of Glory. Please let us have our seat. Emmanuel. Brethren, good morning. My name is Monica Ode. Why the man beside me is my brother, Jude Oraka. We are all situated from the Anambra State from Moka but we all reside in Makodi. It all started, he was sick. He's sick for over six years, but closer as for two years back, the thing started developing to chronic skin disease. This skin disease started gradual by gradual from the back to the stomach, to the leg, all over. It at was in that enter the head, including the eyes, the ears. This thing became so worse, we take him to hospital, we take him to harbor home, we take him everywhere. In short, it became a curse. In short, if we are coming on the way, people will be given no chance. We didn't need to ask for excuse. We are already carrying excuse by ourselves. Anywhere they see us coming, people will start running. Is it a ghost or a human being? But I want to thank God today. I don't know that Jesus is still alive that can bring my brother death back to life today. And we are here to celebrate life and to return glory to God. As of last year, as of last year, July 5th, we came here. When we got to the village, the condition became so terrible. All of us gathered. Nobody could proffer solution. They say the problem is beyond human imagination. It's beyond human understanding. The family gathered and said, how can we do about it? Nobody seems to have solution. And that time I gave birth to a child of about just a month and some weeks. I said, it's only one man can do this job, which is Prophet T.B. Joshua. If Prophet T.B. Joshua. Uh, okay, point of correction, that only God Almighty can do it through his anointed servant, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua. Remember the man of God says, I am not the healer, but I know the healer. And his name is Jesus Christ. All glory be to God. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. We all gathered and said, we have nothing to do again. All my brothers said that they have give up hope. That in short, they don't, if this man happened to be, this is a walking corpse. It's a dead man already. Any money invest on him is waste because there is no hope of living again. I said, if they can only give me a trial, let's travel to Lagos to see the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua. They now turn and ask me, how can this man sit from Anambra State to Lagos? This man may finally die on the road. I said, it doesn't matter. If he die, he will return the course back to Makodi. But I know watching him to go down and give up I will not forgive ourselves. Let's put a step of faith. The family now said to I have a little child of a month and two weeks. Who can travel down to Lagos with this young man? 
He said they don't know the, the service pattern, what, what, what. I say, I will go. They ask what about my baby. How will I carry the baby and the man and in short? Because the, the sixth disease is a curse. You cannot hold him. If you hold him, you cannot hold him with your bare hands. You will use rag to hold his hand because the hand is gumming and peeling, magneting to your skin. I asked my husband, I said, can you allow me to travel with your child? He said, yes. I said, okay. I told my brother, I will go. They said, but only me cannot do it. His wife support volunteered that she will go. But if we are coming to the crowd where people are, she will not appear. But at the secret, she will appear. I said, don't worry. The crowd, I will bear the shame. We took the journey. To dress him off from the first instant from him from Mocha, we have to put him four shirts, jalabia, from up to down. We wear him thick socks. We wear him, we use uh, a tie. We'll tie him down like this. We use facing cap, we put. We we'll carry spectacle, we we'll cover the eyes. Only the mouth can show you, but still at the mouth, people are still dictating what is wrong. And when we get to the park, some people see him, they run away, say, what is this? Me and I have to talk to the driver, say, please, God can only use you to help us. Let's carry this man down to synagogue, to Lagos, where God will show forth his mercy. The driver said on one condition. I said, what is the condition? He said, three of us will be at the back, that the passengers will not get distracted of our infirmity. They will sit at the front. I said, no problem. We sat at the back. As the motor is moving, the particles of the body is rotating inside the vehicle. In short, it became a problem. The, the passenger became angry with the driver. Must you collect money by force? Is it every passenger you see, you must carry? In short, insults and disgrace. Both me, in short, our body was smelling. We kept faith. God drive us from Anambra State to synagogue here. We arrive. Arriving to synagogue, for Kekenape or Taizi to pick us from there to Ikotu, it became a problem. All of them ran away. They said they can't carry such. When the vehicle could drop us, he carried broom and paka. He sweeped the whole chaff of the body and threw it away. When we drop at Saleh, let Keke carry us to Ikotu. The Keke says, not carrying this type of woman. He's not carrying a dead man inside this vehicle. The whole Taizi, they rejected us. We stood there for about three good hours. Begging for them who to assist. One Kekenape uh, man said he's going to give us double charges. I said, no problem. He carried us to Ikotu here. Reaching all these people that drag, uh, I have a lodge, I have a lodge. When they saw this one, they ran away. They denied not having a lodge. <laughs> Nobody agreed that they have a lodge. So, so <laughs> praise God. <laughs> Amen. Okay, for those who don't understand this part, what the woman is trying to say is that after all the terrible experience they had, getting to Ikotun, where the synagogue is located, you know, coming down from the bus stop, usually you have uh, these hoteliers running around you for accommodation. Please come, come. No, I'm the first person that got this one. No, yeah, let's, let's go. But, you know, they would drag customers. But when they saw this man, they all ran away. <laughs> Amen. This was not the kind of customer they were looking for. Okay, continue. So all of them now ran away. They said, no, they does not need this type of customer. We stood at the road there for about one hour. We happened to talk to one woman. The woman said she will give us apartment on one condition. I asked her, what is the condition? Double payment. I said, no problem. We will pay. The woman ushered us. Even entering to the lodge, people that lodge started running. They are, we are not staying in their room. We are in our own private room. But they pick raise. All of them ran away from the compound. We give God the glory. The day of the prayer came, the Saturday prayer line. We dress him on the normal attire raincoat and cover every part of the body. Because once you see the body, you get scared. You not come closer as we enter there. But before then, when we were going to hospital to hospital, could you imagine a sick patient will be in the hospital? 
waiting to see doctor. I want to see another sick patient. He's running away from that one. That he don't want to contact disease and, and transmit a disease. When we enter the hospital, the whole patient give her a chance. The, the doctor has to come out and say, who, Madam, who brought this man here? I say I'm the one. And you are carrying a little child, and you are carrying this kind of person. Do you have conscience for the baby you are carrying? I say, sir, the man in question is my brother. The child in question is my baby. And I know that nothing will happen to the child. He said, OK. For this, the man should go as to stay far away from the entrance of the hospital. He went and sat on the block, not in my chair. He sat on the block outside. We started taking the necessary protocols. They, in short, they have to bring their string outside to come and take whatever they are taking, not inside again. All God saw us through to no avail. We came back, and at that fateful day, as God may have it, if God said that your time is not yet come, no matter how the devil will toy, there will still be a solution. This young man cannot eat. The whole mouth is bruises. The whole body is paws. The butters. In short, if you sit near him, he'll be crying day and night, day and night. He said the body is very hot. I said, Tom. How can we help you? Tell me if he's the one that we can do, we will provide a solution. He said the only assistance we can give to him is to carry broom to scratch the body, of which we take the broom. Not even the long one, the short one that has strong capacity to pull down the bruises. We we'll carry the broom, we we'll sweep the body. To sweep at least when we sweep the body, he felt relief a little bit. And I thank God today, after the man of God stretched forth his hand and prayed with him, that July 5th, from that day, he started getting his healing, gradual by gradual, gradual by gradual. And today, it has become a history. And we are here to say thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Monsieur, regardez votre écran. Oui, on s'étonne. Qui est venu ici avec un problème de maladie de la peau. Watch your screen. That will help your faith. Look at the case here. It's a mysterious issue. I never knew how he came here. Because I don't know the kind of vehicle that will convey this man here. So let, let him get free and go. God, please help my brother. I have seen this for the past six years. We have taken him all over, no solution. Both in the church, in the herbalists, in the medical report, no, no solution. Man of God, please help my brother, please. He has skin disease. For how many years? For six years, sir. Okay, let's hear from your brother. What is your problem? Can you talk? Uh, uh, this, this skin. Okay, it seems he cannot talk. As you see, his appearance so the, it is inside within and outside is like this okay and uh, you'll be able to say well with me you are ready to accept jesus as your lord and savior yes thank you come on command that disease that infirmity in your body in the name of jesus christ I say, I command that infirmity out. Begin to bury it. Down. Mesdames et messieurs, regardez votre écran. Dans la puissance de résurrection du Seigneur Jésus Christ à l'œuvre pour guérir cet homme qui souffre d'une maladie chronique de la peau, à travers la puissance de résurrection du Seigneur, il reçoit ici et maintenant la prière de l'homme de Dieu pour être totalement libéré de cette affliction qui le perturbe depuis six ans. Par la puissance du Seigneur, rien n'est impossible. Regardez votre écran et que ceci élève votre foi au nom de Jésus. Le Seigneur ne regarde pas votre I passé. Je you vous êtes you can hear me come out of this man's life. In the name of Jesus. Go out! Go out! Continue you can Dieu. say what the name of Jesus can do. You see? Do it! 
I say, out! Out! I say, out in the name of Jesus Christ. It must come out. Because the name Jesus is given to cast out demons and to spit a disease with the name we have dominion over all disease. All afflictions, infirmity, trouble and the challenges in your life. It's poison, a drunk poison. Can you see what I ask you to be patient for? The issue like this cannot be handled in the same way I handle your case. the name of Jesus stand up instantly the man rises to his feet it's free as you can see indeed it has become a history that he was once suffering a chronic skin disease looking at the before and the after wow God has done a great thing so tell us all through this period that he was passing through this terrible situation. Was there any hope apart from the time you thought of bringing him here? Sir, no hope at all. No hope. No hope. Okay. So now the Lord God Almighty has set him free. You as a sister who has been bearing all the burden, how do you feel? I feel very happy. If it's the only mission God give me the grace to accomplish I'm grateful to him. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Indeed, we thank God Almighty for your patience and uh, for being able to stand all this uh, terrible challenge. And we believe it wasn't you, it was the Spirit of God. If everyone had deserted him, run away from him, and you decided to take it upon yourself, even with a, a month-old baby, I think it was, it was the Spirit of God. And we thank God also for allowing yourself to be used by the Spirit of God to bring him to the arena of liberty where he was eventually set free. Once again, let us clap for Jesus Christ. <laughs> let us hear from the man himself. Sir, we can't see the smile on your face. <laughs> okay, now tell us your name. Amen. My name is Jude Oraka. I'm from Anambra State. The person beside me is my lovely sister. So I want to thank God as God used my sister to bring me in synagogue not of nation. The problem was chronic skin disease. Can you just explain to us, because it is said that he who feels it knows it. Can you tell us what you were experiencing? What was your condition at that time? How did you feel in your body when you were having this problem? By that time, I feel hot all over my body. All my body was overheating like a motor radiator. So I cannot sit down, I cannot stand, only to lie down. 24 hours, I'm, I will lie down on the bed. And I cannot go to the toilet by myself. Anything I will do, I must need an assistant to help me. And who was doing that? My sister, my loving sister. Mm. I was taken to the hospital, to the native uh, herbalist, whether I can get a native medicine, but that's all in vain.
So everywhere you went and people saw you, how did they react? Uh, they feel like uh, most crazy is coming. They run away. They run away. Mm. Okay. Now, when you eventually came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, the man of God stretched his hand to you. Can you describe to us what happened at the prayer line? So when I came, we meet man of God. He said that whether I believe in God, I say yes. Okay. He says it was a poison. So, but I'm going to vomit it right now. He straight hand uh, upon me, so I started uh, trying to. So, because uh, by that time I'm, I'm not with myself. I don't know what happened. So, but I vomit something. From that time, I started getting myself small, small recovery until this time. And how are you now? I'm feeling okay. All right. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Okay, now we want you to pull up the sleeves of the cloth you are wearing. Let us see more of your body and also your shoes. Let us see the feet that was as rough as the back of an oak tree then. But today you can see as smooth as the skin of a bouncing newborn baby. Wow. Can you... Wow. For the glory of God, we want to see the foot because we knew how it was when you came. It was terrible looking. One side is okay. Okay. Wow. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Now, can you touch... Tap, rub it, and let us see. Do you feel any pain? Do you feel no, any pain? No pain. Before, when you had this problem, this terrible skin disease, were you able to touch or rub it? I couldn't bend down. I would not bend down. You couldn't even bend down. Wow. Can you exercise your body now? Let us put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you. Glory be to God in the highest. And looking at what God has done in your life, setting you free, bringing you back from death to life, what word of advice do you have for people who are listening to you? There are many people out there doubting Thomases who don't even believe in the power of miracle, but you are a living testimony. What do you have for them? What I have for them is this. In any situation at all, the person should not give up to put hope on God. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Indeed, no matter the circumstances, no matter the situation, do not lose hope. Put all your faith and trust in God. At God's own time, that problem will be over. In Jesus' name. To God be the glory. Emmanuel. My advice goes like this. Sometimes, we women, you have a brother that is passing through a difficult challenge in such a way that you cannot associate with that person. But if you can summon courage, because even the day that they were delivering him, people that was watching this telly, live brokers in Makodi, they were calling me, said they don't know I'm so such wicked. I said, what manner of wickedness is that? He said, why did I take such a risk carrying this kind of human being with a child coming to Lagos? Paraventure, the man died on the road. What question do I have to answer? I said, even though he died, I'm not a murderer. I'm just providing solution. And God will not allow him to die on the road. But today, the risk you take based in the leading of God will bring success tomorrow. And we are here today celebrating life to God. Hallelujah. And standing by watching the man of God just by stretching hand at a distance to your brother and he started vomiting. How did you feel? 
What can you say about the power of God? Saying the man of God alone, even before stretching hand, I feel that this man will not die again. See him alone, sighting eyes on him. And when he stretched forth his hand, I know that the end of the calamity is over. This is a new beginning. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Indeed, a new beginning. All things are gone. All things become new. That is the promise of God. And I want to thank God Almighty for your life, sir, for being alive today to share this wonderful testimony because of the grace of God in the life of his able servant, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua. And also, we just want to know, because of our viewers all over the world want to know, we know that miracle is only a means to an end, but not the end itself. The end is the salvation of our soul. Can you tell us, since you received this miracle, this healing, how has it influenced your life? Has it drawn you closer to Christ? And are you living your life for the glory of God now that you have received his mercy and grace? Since I was delivered, so I have surrendered my life to Christ. I can never go back to sin again. So the way you're talking now with ease, were you able to talk freely like this with ease before now? No. Hallelujah. No more pain. No more pain. No more sorrow. I talk freely. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you. Indeed, this miracle is more than enough to change one's life entirely. And now that you have recognized the, the power of God and have also encountered it, we want to encourage you to remain in faith in Christ Jesus. Continue to make the word of God the standard for your life and your miracle will be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. So once again, sister, we want to thank you very much for allowing yourself to be used for the glory of God to bring this man to the arena of liberty where he's set free today. And thank God you are part of this wonderful testimony in Jesus' name. Nous allons entendre le même témoignage de cet homme qui est venu à la synagogue église de toute nation souffrant de problèmes de maladie de peau chronique depuis plusieurs années. Nous avons entendu sa sœur disant qu'ils ont été partout chercher de solutions dans les hôpitaux, dans les, la médecine traditionnelle sans trouver de solutions. Sa peau s'est plus chère comme des écailles de poisson. Il avait toujours des démangeaisons. Les gens s'enfuyaient de lui. Personne ne voulait l'aider. Mais sa sœur a pris vraiment un pas de foi en disant de l'amener d'un état du Nigeria jusqu'à Lagos ici, à la synagogue église de toute nation. Elle a dit qu'il lui a mis quatre t-shirts, lui a enveloppé le visage d'un foulard, lui a mis des de soleil. Et malgré cela, la maladie se voyait. Les gens s'enfuyaient chaque fois qu'ils étaient dans sa présence. Elle a dit qu'elle a dû supplier les gens de pouvoir l'emmener jusqu'à la gosse. Elle a trouvé quelqu'un qui a eu l'amabilité de le faire. Et malgré cela, même sa peau s'est plus à l'intérieur du bus qui affectait les autres personnes. Malgré cela, elle a quand même continué. Elle a dit non, que la honte sera sur elle, mais qu'elle devra amener cet homme à la synagogue de toute nation pour trouver sa délivrance. Enfin, il savait que l'homme de Dieu pouvait dire le choix à travers Jésus-Christ pouvait guérir cet homme. Et aujourd'hui, nous avons vu qu'après la prière de l'homme de Dieu, il ne pouvait même plus parler convenablement car la maladie aussi coinçait sa gorge. Il a envie de vomir des substances poisonneuses et après cela, il était complètement libre et aujourd'hui, il revient donner son témoignage. Sa peau est complètement lisse, complètement régénérée et renouvelée grâce à la prière de l'homme de Dieu prophète Tibre Choix. Aujourd'hui, il rend toute la gloire à Dieu parce que le Seigneur l'a guéri, il l'a sauvé de la mort à la vie. To be the glory, this is what praising God for. Right now, we are going to call on our choristers to give us wonderful songs of celebration as we glorify the name of God for this wonderful healing he has done in the life of this man. Let's rise up our feet and give glory to God. At the mention of your name, every knee must bow. At the mention of your name, every tongue confess. At the mention of your name,
we thank God today as man of God, we travel all the way from Akodi to come and testify. The man of God shattered us, gave us a commendation, have been taking good care of us, have been feeding us, not a, a delicious meal, if morning, afternoon, night, clothing, in short, the man of God is too wonderful. And today we are here to say thank you, Jesus, for all God have used the man of God, Sino Prophet T.B. Joshua, to do in our family. May the Almighty God reward him and his ministry and his family. And I wish them heaven at last. They shall make it. When I had this problem, I couldn't walk. My sister helped me for everything. He lent me money because I couldn't walk for passes. He gave me money feeding me, do, helping me for everything I need. Because I have no money. I couldn't know, I couldn't work by then. But now you are back to your work. I'm back to my work of driving. Prophet T.B. Joshua and coupled with Emmanuel TV partners have decided to give you the total sum of 200,000 Naira and uh, also the, your transportation, which is the sum of 20,000 Naira. So everything is here. The prophet said we should give you this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, prophet. I thank you very much for assisting me all this, all this time. So I give thanks to glory. I thank you, God, the blessing and the family and the member of uh, Emmanuel TV. All. Emmanuel. I am here to appreciate God tonight to greet the senior prophet T.B. Joshua. He's one among millions. I have never seen this kind of person before. For God using him to bless my family with total sum of 220,000. I appreciate him. May the good Lord reward him and his family and all the partners of Emmanuel TV. His finance shall never go dry. His pocket shall never go dry. The Lord my God will water him. And for the blessing of this family, this family shall grow from strength to strength. Backward never. I return all the glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. We believe you have have been inspired by the clip you have just watched. Click here to subscribe to witness more of God's power at work in our generation today and stay up to date with the latest prophecies, deliverances, sermons and testimonies from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV, changing lives, changing nations and changing the world.